Mm-hmm. So I have that much room above my head, and mm-hmm. that's it. We're good? Mm-hmm. What, what are you giving me that look for? My daughter's filming. <laughs> She's helping me out. She's giving me a terrible look like rap now. Like, Dad, you're a loser. Why am I doing this? Oh, why am I? Because I have a YouTube channel. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ollie Man with Polytech. And a few videos ago, I had mentioned that in this crazy market with RAM prices and GPU prices so high, you should really reach out and, you know, contact friends and loved ones and ask them to throw you as much used PC junk as they could. And boy, did that work out for me almost a little too well. I think. I have a few hand-me-down computers I can put together here. We're gonna see what works. I'm gonna test some stuff. But uh, like I said, if you just put the word out, a lot of people are just trying to get rid of stuff. I got this, just my old boxes and parts. Some of them have stuff, some don't. But what I did find, um, two monitors. Literally, one of them just given to me. One I found on the sidewalk. The uh, monitor I found on the sidewalk found with a system, I believe this system. So I got this to cut and go through. This was given to me by a friend. I think he paid 20 bucks at a garage sale. It's got like an old Nvidia 400 Quattro or something. I'm gonna check that out, see what fun can be had. And I think there's an old uh, Xeon in here. We've got what looks to be like a 750, I think. Um, this is an AM2 motherboard. This is a AM3 motherboard, I believe. And then we've got uh, some other old Asus graphics card. We've got some goodies to go through. I don't even know what half this stuff is. My friend actually also found me in the garbage a huge Cooler Master half case, which I've been uh, carving away at. This is the original half X. And I carved out all the drive cages, and it is a behemoth. I've got the 200 millimeter fans. What else I get? Uh, oh, this, uh, so I've got also like a plethora of drives. Uh, here's another motherboard from a system I got in. Uh, this is a new project. But as far as old stuff, I've got a bunch of different power supplies to play with. Uh, a few different form factors. SFX. We have an ITX in there as well. Over in this general area, got just like tons of fans. Here's those like 200 millimeter fans. And I think this is gonna be my uh, test bed for the day. Just, you know, using this case because it's just a pretty simple open layout where I can pop stuff in and test it for the day um, without committing to what I want to build yet. Just want to see what parts work and what I have. So we've made it here. Um, it's making some noise, but it's working. Uh, we're in BIOS at least. I realize I'm gonna have to get a version of Windows. This hard drive I was gonna use has a uh, Windows 10. That's probably gonna be too new for this machine. Uh, where is it? Uh, it told me a second ago what kind of CPU this was. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. CPU frequency is 2.3 gigahertz, quad core. It's not ter terrible by today's standards. Ooh, and look at, until you see the cache size, that's pretty, pretty bad. So what? Oh, AMD Phenom, it's right there. 
Phenom? How do you say that? I don't even know. That's literally before my time with PC building, but that's what we've got. We're gonna have to redo the thermal paste on this because when I started it, it's like 50 degrees. Now we're already up to 63, literally while doing nothing. Wow. Well, let's see if Windows 10 will boot. I kind of don't think it will, um, but we'll try. Yeah, and then we get nothing. That kind of stinks. All right. Well, we'll keep uh, we'll keep chipping away at it. We'll see what we get. So it looks like we may have thrown something together that actually works. I didn't install a new OS, which I mean, I'm definitely gonna do once I confirm that the uh, parts work. Oh look, see, it needs repair. Okay, but I mean, it's starting up, it's getting to Windows. I was just kind of playing lottery with the hard drives. I've got um decent box of hard drives here. I'm gonna try to see if I can at least get into Windows to see some stuff. I also wanna see, uh, since this is a Phenom processor, if I can run this without a graphics card, because graphics cards are, you know, hard to come by today. So if I can run this system without one, that can make it uh, an even more useful putt-putt system for, like, web browsing and email. Uh, I'm just going to kill it for now, and uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and see before I play around with more hard drives, because obviously whatever version of Windows is on this needs to be repaired. Um... Rather than play around with more hard drives, I want to see if this will work without the graphics. This will be a fun little experiment. And I still, because I can't get all the way, all the way into desktop, um, I still don't know what this is. I mean, I could probably look it up, but honestly, I thought it would be way more fun to, like, load it up and, like, find out what it is that way, actually, in the system. These cables are so dusty because they went to the uh, to the desert. A lot of them went to the desert with me. And they're still covered in dust because, I mean, really, who wipes down all their cables, all their old DVI cables and VGA cables that I haven't used since then anyway? I don't. And, uh, uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, this was the monitor that was found in the trash. And my buddy Jake was playing Overwatch on it and having a grand old time. So uh, that works for a uh, budget gaming monitor for sure. All right, so got something that'll go into here. Let's see if this board will start up all on its lonesome. No graphics. Nope, we got something. Operating system was not found. But hey, it starts. So we got our next system booted up, and this one is a Phenom 2. Haha, <laughs> starting to look like a theme. Let's do some Dad? system information. You down there? Yeah, you want to see something? Sure. Alright, so we've got a Phenom 2X6. So that means this was a 6-core processor, I believe. Cool. That's pretty cool. Our speed is 2700 megahertz. Take a peek in there. Yes. 